<laughs> That's where we like a bit of laughing in the background from That's from random privacy. European. Privacy. Yeah, you're not it's invited. You're not invited. I don't want to hear you. There we go. Yeah. See, wanted man, uh, financier, wanted on several states. There we go. That's more like it. I had to get rid of him. The uh, Yoan. So um, uh, you've been out on a paramotoring conversion. You've got about 100 hours, free flying paragliders. Have you got on with the week? Uh, all in all, I don't want to oversing it, but no, it's um, it's been a pretty damn good week. I like um, people oversinging, isn't it? Brilliant. <laughs> no, it's I uh, didn't really know what to expect. Kind of booked it fairly last minute. Um, didn't really have a lot of plans. Just knew I wanted some sun. Um, didn't really have any long-term plans for the sport. I mean, I've got ideas where it could go in the next ten years, and I want to be sort of trained up, ready for that. But um, no, I've just been sort of putting aside sort of one or 200 quid for the last few years since I've been paragliding. Um, thinking I was going to come and do this at some, some point. Not necessarily with Fly Spain. Um, that just came on the back of reviews I'd read and people I'd spoken to in forums. Um, but uh, the week itself has been interesting. Uh, I didn't expect to make that many good friends. Um, even the people on the guided and the CP courses themselves, there's a lot of characters there. And you know, each night you're going out to dinner with them as well, catch up on their day. How have you got on with the uh, power motoring? Oh, the motoring's been cracking. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, Easier mean, than you thought, more complicated? Uh, it's way... Like I said, I didn't really come with any preconceived notions about the motor itself, but I was definitely surprised by how serious you have to take that thing. Um, it's pretty intimidating. That throttle, um, having never sort of ridden motorbikes myself, mm. I was quite intimidated by the concept of having a throttle in my hand. Quite exciting though. <laughs> yeah, very, very exciting. <laughs> Um, and uh, no, I mean, like, it's a big mixed group here. I mean, we've got two EP conversions. We've got one guy that's come back for kind of a refresher, um, but also to do a guided week. So I saw an opportunity there that if, you know, if I proved I wasn't a complete turnip to these instructors, then I knew that maybe I could be joining the guided guy and on some flights towards the end of the week. And uh, as it happens, that's exactly how it played out. So, um, so what's been the highlight? Uh, <laughs> Highlight in terms of, I learn, I learn best from mistakes um, and I think because all of my aborted launches and wind control look pretty good that actually were well, the first time I launched I just had a complete sort of brain fart and did the absolute opposite of what my instructor, my great instructor was telling me which was uh, to uh, not jump and I did jump and I, I gave the frame uh, well a proper little, a tiny little skim I think. Um, we're, wooden ones, we're, okay. we're, we're bare the cost of those cars. Um, no, the highlight's got to be um, yesterday, so that was what, day day five? Um, did um, just go invited on a, a mini cross country um, that turned out to be absolutely epic. Um, so, you know, just a little fluff of a launch and a quite a muddy landing field, so a tiny bit nervous, but the second one came up perfectly and in nil wind straight up. Um, climbed straight to the inversion and then shot off 40 kilometers down to a uh, down the valley to Romba, um, passing a Roman amphitheatre, some amazing crag climbing, uh, and finishing off in a gorge. With a... It's a good way of spotting new routes, I suppose, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? I hadn't thought yeah. that. It's just it's just a bit mad actually, because um, obviously coming from a paragliding background, you're quite intimidated by thermaling as a concept because it's a vicious circle. You know, the you need airtime to gain more experience but you can't gain the experience without the airtime so it's it's very tricky but with the paramotor like you know you're just you're buzzing around you can switch it off you can have a little play um there was definitely some lift yesterday i was on quite a big wing so that was fun just experiencing that some of the ridge lift by the amphitheater um and then the landing at the end of the day um that was eventful but uh no just the hours in the air and the landings i've had this year just kind of washed it off it was, it was lovely landing next to a pub little beer some tapas Oh, it's good. A, yes, a good uh, the full Spanish feel. <laughs> Brilliant. So uh, uh, we'll potentially see you out for some more paramotoring in the future. I think definitely. I think definitely. I think I'll be calling you up trying to get one of your second-hand ones. I think. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I've, yeah, uh, yeah. I've got my eye on that on a, on a mini plane. Definitely. I think they're gorgeous. No, it's um, no, it's. If you're in two minds about it, save the money. Come next year. Just book it. It's uh, like out here. It's just a perfect setup. Nice people. Like even th even this week there was no wind, so it was a bit hard. It was a bit hard to learn, a bit more tricky, you know. But not a breeze in the day would be nice, but still everyone's up, and <laughs> even the guys who've just done the EP conversion, they they seem pretty comfortable in the air. So, cool, cool, excellent. Ciao. Cheers, bud. <laughs>